Hey guys, Shreyan here and today I will be telling you the latest WWDC 2020 leaks. So Apple's annual worldwide developer conference keynote is happening on Monday, June 22nd but in a very different form than usual due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But the show must go on for Apple so they will be presenting the entire conference in a new digital only format. The company is still expected to unveil the first look at the future of iOS, macOS, watchOS, and tvOS, the various suits of software that power all of Apple's hardware. With all of that said, here is everything I am expecting Apple to announce this year. iOS 14 The annual iOS update is as usual expected to be one of Apple's main focus this year. There are rumors that Apple might be making the first substantial change into iOS home screen, the biggest since the company first added folders and custom wallpapers with iOS 4, which according to 9to5Mac will offer an Android-like view of apps on your devices. iOS 14 is also rumored to bring new wallpaper settings that will loop in third-party apps for the first time. But the biggest and the least substantial rumor is that Apple could finally be bringing proper home screen widgets to iOS, something the company has long refused to do. iPad OS 14 Last year, Apple split out the iPad version of iOS into its own fork, iPad OS. Given that, at its heart, iPad OS is still basically iOS. Expect most from the changes above from iOS to apply here too. That said, there are additional iPad OS rumors centered around the Apple Pencil. Mac rumor claims that Apple is adding a new pencil kit feature that will automatically convert handwriting notes into standard text. The new handwriting feature is said to work in any iPad OS input field. Watch OS 7. The same rumor for the Apple Watch, the addition of sleep tracking has popped up again this year in rumors for watch os 7 although it is not clear whether apple will hold off on that announcement for when it releases a new apple watch this fall another rumor suggests that blood oxygen tracking might be coming to apple watch os 7 although sleeping like tracking is unclear if that will depend on the new hardware tv os 14 tvOS now powers both the Apple TV and the HomePod, so any updates to either of those platforms may come here. On the Apple TV side of things, the same rumored fitness app that is expected to debut with iOS 14 is expected to appear here too, and Apple is reportedly working on a kids mode for the streaming platform that would also loop in with screen time for monitoring how much time you spend watching TV. For HomePod, these rumors that Apple maybe easing up the default application might also bring benefits here like enabling third-party application like Spotify to work with a smart speaker through Apple's Siri voice assistant. Mac OS 10.16 Shockingly, there have been almost no leaks for the next version of Mac OS head of WWDC this year. The only major rumors are ones that they're extended from iOS which talk from a proper Catalyst iMessage app that could finally bring features like Scent with lasers to the Mac app and similar iCloud chain improvements. But there is still the biggest rumor heading into WWDC. That Apple could be unveiling its own ARM based Macs for next generation of Mac laptops to replace the Intel processor it's been using since 2006. In which case, expect to hear a lot about the next version of Mac OS which support that transition. And perhaps the most important piece of news that would come out of WWDC. Apple is reportedly planning to use this year's developer conference to announce a switch to its own custom designed ARM based chips. According to the report, the change is motivated by Apple's concerns about Intel's performance improvements. The new ARM chips are said to offer marketably better performance for graphics and AI tasks and are also more power efficient. And of course, but not relying on Intel, Apple can design chipsets that are completely to its own specifications instead of relying on another company's roadmap, a strategy that it's deployed to great effect over iPhone and iPad devices, which have their own custom Apple designed chips since the original iPad and iPhone 4. This year, we are also expecting a new iMac, a new Apple TV 4K, and Apple Tags. 
thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one